Hi, welcome back to Between the Benches, your source for hockey news. And today I'm going to be going over my tier list for the new NHL retro throwback jerseys. Um, you might have already seen Austin's list. If not, link will be in the description for that. And uh, later on tomorrow, we're going to be uploading one together where we come together and try to agree on some of the differences we might have had on these jerseys. But uh, jumping right on into it, uh, I got the list here. We got Future Primary. I mean, that's the best it can be. Uh, under that, we have Future Third, uh, then Future Retro, Reverse Retro Hit, Buy on Discount, Clearance Dust Collector, Garbage Bin, and then Y. Uh, so I have an extra tab there uh, to Austin's because uh, there's only going to be one jersey in there. And, but we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, so starting us off, I am going to start us off on a garbage bin one. And that's going to be Nashville's. Um, it just doesn't do enough for me, the white down the side. I do think it is a hard jersey um, to, think, to be creative with and think of something that looks good. So that does hurt them there. Um, but yeah, I just don't, I don't think it does enough and it's not something I would go out and buy. Um, the next one though, I have already bought uh, and that is the Calgary one. For me, that's a future primary. I love the flaming horse. Uh, I know it gets a lot of hate and a lot of love, but uh, for me, it is one I love. So it definitely is gonna go into the future primary one. Uh, it does look a lot like the Canucks black alternate, which the Calgary Canucks are gonna be excited for that one with all the new players they have coming from Vancouver. but. I just still think it's a fantastic jersey. I love the alternate A, which the Flames have always done. I wish the, the Captain C uh, is going to be the Calgary C. It doesn't look like it right now, but things could change. And then for the next one here, I'm going to do the Islanders one that's also going to go into the garbage bin. Um, it, could, it was almost a Y just because they didn't change anything. It's just dark blue compared to lighter blue before. Um, but the Y category is saved for one jersey only. So this goes in a garbage bin. I don't really see who would buy that and go out of their way and buy that. It just feels the exact same as their normal homes. So I wish they did something a bit more creative like that one. I know Austin talked about it, uh, how they didn't do the Fisherman because fans didn't like the Fisherman jersey, but I just think there was no effort there and they weren't proud of it. On to the next one here. Which one should I do? Let's do the Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo, this is a tough one. I think for me, I'm going to put the Buffalo Sabres. I think I'm going to put it into the future third. It is on the line there with future retro. Uh, I believe Buffalo comes out every year with some pretty good jerseys. Uh, their last year, 50th anniversary gold ones are one of my favorite jerseys in the league. Um, but I, I, that's definitely something I could see Buffalo wearing in the future, and it's something I like. Um, if I was in Buffalo, I'd for sure buy that one right away. I, they are good at making jerseys. I guess you have to be when they're not good at most other things. But hopefully we see uh, this year a playoff team wearing those jerseys. <laughs> All right, which one should I do next? This one... This is the Carolina one, of course. I have the the Green Whalers jersey behind me there. I put this one in reverse retro hit. Um, it's a good jersey. I like it. I like seeing that throwback to the Whalers. Does it beat the green one for me? No. Um, so that's why it's not any higher. But I can't put it any lower than that. Just a classic look. I guess it's kind of easy when you just take another team's jersey and that eventually became your team. But it looks good. Um, Carolina has good jersey, so I can't put it any higher than that. But... I believe that just fits in there perfectly. And for the next one here, let's do Vegas. I'm gonna put Vegas in the future retro. Um, this one I did think about putting in future third as well. Um, it is a really good one. Obviously Vegas hasn't worn a third yet, so it's not competing with any other jersey. I really do like the logo on it. Uh, it looks fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the red. I do like uh, the gray that Vegas wears, but it's still a good jersey. Uh, I definitely think it is a future retro jersey for sure. Uh, will they wear it as their third down the line? I hope so. Um, but yeah, I'd, for me, if it wasn't red, it might be higher up. But uh, I'm happy keeping it where it is for now. The next one here. This one is uh, the LA Kings. Uh, it, I believe that goes into the future primary. I love the purple and gold. I don't know why they switched to the black and white. I think that's just a very lame look lots of teams are now switching to black i know i already put the flames in there but that's for flaming horse uh but yeah i would love to see the kings go back to purple and gold i know they've won now in black and white so we might not ever see that 
but I love when the Kings go back and wear those jerseys. So I really do hope um, they go back to that. The next one here, we're going to do the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I'm not a fan of word mark jerseys, just across. It does look like a good jersey. Um, just for me, I'm not a fan of that style. So because of that, I'm putting on the buy on discount section. Um, it could easily go into reverse retro hit. It does look nice. I don't have any problems with the jersey. Just from my opinion, I'm not a big fan of that design. But that's okay. I'm sure no one will disagree with me on any of these. So <laughs> that's fantastic. On to the next one, I'm going to do St. Louis. I'm going to move St. Louis... I'm going to put this on buy on discount as well. Uh, I do believe this one could easily be in reverse as well. But the reason I've put that one there is it just doesn't beat the blue and red. I know they they flip the colors. I believe that jersey is behind me there. Yep. And um, it just doesn't beat that one for me. It is something I would still like to buy. It does look very cool. Uh, I just think it's hard to beat that blue one that's so perfect. That one would have been in future primary for me. Uh, but So that's going to stay there. Um, not great, not bad. On to the next one. This one's going to cause a lot of controversy. I'm wearing the Quebec Nordiques jersey. Colorados. Now, if you're in Quebec, you're probably putting this in the wire or garbage bin section. Is You'd hate to see this. Uh, I am not from Quebec, so I'm going to put it in future third. I love the design. I like the colors of it. I can see why if you were from Quebec, you'd be very upset and want it down the list. But uh, as I am not, I'm putting in the future third. Looks really nice. Hopefully we see Quebec come back one day, so that will be a future primary for them. Uh, but obviously they'll go back to the blue. But uh, I hope we see something like that where they wear a similar style jersey. I know they never would because it's Colorado's colors, but it would be cool to see that. Uh, maybe they could do a, a night where Colorado wears that and Quebec wears their jerseys. But we have to get Quebec back in the league before we'll see anything like that. On to the next one here. I'm going to grab the New York Rangers. I'm putting this in the reverse retro hit. Um, for me, I really love the the logo, the Lady Liberty. I think that looks fantastic. But after that, there's not much to the jersey. It looks pretty plain. Um, the logo brings it up, but it the logo can only bring it up so much. So for me, it stays at reverse retro hit. Um, yeah, it could easily go up if they put a bit more design into it, um, but unfortunately they didn't. But still a nice jersey nonetheless. Um, I do like when they wear those, that older logo. Next up, we're going to do the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, for me, this goes into the clearance dust collector uh, category. Uh, the reason I'm putting it there is just it doesn't look that great in my opinion. Um, I know that was the style, so they had to stick with it, but compared to the mighty ducks ones with the purple the, you know the retro they came out with two years ago with the dark green those ones are top class and i just think this one didn't live up to the mark there um so that's why i'm putting it there on this list yeah i'm just not a fan of the logo it has to stay there all right up next we're going to do ottawa ottawa is going to go into the same category um, I love the new logo or the old logo that they're now bringing back uh, with the Senators. I just think they could have done something better. Um, behind me is the black Ottawa jersey that they wore when that year they had that incredible run in the playoffs. I wish they did something like that. I mean, that is one of my favorite jerseys in the league where this one just looks like their homes but red. So I can't really put it any higher. I have no problems with the jersey, but I just think they could have done better. Uh, up next, I'm going to do the San Jose Sharks. This one's pretty close to a buy on discount or a clearance dust collector. I think I'm going to put on the buy on discount. I'm just not a fan of the striping. Uh, the Sharks have had some good jerseys in the past. I really like the black ones they released. Um, and their home ones are just nice. And I'm just not a fan of the gray, the striping, and then the, the older Shark. Uh, so for me, it's going to go buy on discount. Something I would still like to own in my life. But it's not one I'm going to be actively searching for. Uh, up next here, we're going to do another garbage bin one. That's going to be the Dallas Stars. Um, I don't really know where they were going with this one. Uh, I know that's the older logo, but I just think they could have done so much better. Um, would have been nice if they brought uh, the cow with horns back. <laughs> I'm sure not a lot of people would agree with me on that, but I just don't think it's enough. I understand it's the shape of the star on the jersey, but it's just not enough for me. It's something I'm never going to buy. 
especially after last year's uh, Winter Classic jerseys they did, which were just phenomenal. It's just a letdown by the Stars. Uh, next here, I'm going to do the New Jersey Devils. For me, this is a future primary. And the reason I put it in the future primary is because um, the story behind it. Um, it. It's green because they believed in New Jersey that there was a devil living in the woods. Some still do believe to this day. And so that's why it's green. It's the devil coming out of the woods. I'm not a big fan of the New Jersey Devils jersey, just the style of it. So for me, when I see this green one, I'm in love right away. And I'm not a fan of the old one or the, the current homes. So for me, it's easily slots there. I can see why people would disagree with me on that one. But I love the story behind it. I love the green. Looks great for me. That one is a future primary. Uh, up next, we're going to do the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, for me, this is also a future primary. Um, do I think it beats the Kachina jerseys? No, I believe the Kachina jerseys are one of the best ones in the league. But I love the purple on this jersey. I love... The bottom half with the, the almost like the sand dunes and the cactus and the moon. I think that looks fantastic. The logo looks great. And I'm glad Arizona took a risk on this one. I mean, uh, not many people liked that green jersey when it originally came out. I think it looks fantastic with the purple. I'm definitely going to be buying that one. I believe that belongs there completely. Up next, here I'm going to do the Minnesota Wild. For me, this one goes into the future third. I love the colors on this one. I think it looks fantastic. Um, so big props to whoever designed this one. I know it's basically just their jersey with uh, the North Star colors, but for me, top class jersey, definitely something I want to see them wearing in the future, and definitely something I'm going to try to get my hands on. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see what's after that. Let's go with Boston. Um, so this is a tough one. I'm not really a big fan of... The jersey itself. I know they're bringing back the meth bear on the shoulders, which is a little exciting. Uh, but I'm going to put that on buy on discount. Um, it doesn't scream at me uh, to buy. It looks pretty similar to some other jerseys Boston's done in the past and just doesn't look that fantastic. Um, the Bruins have done some good jerseys, and I mean, their home jerseys are just classic. Um, and that's just not screaming classic to me. So that's going to stay in the buy on discount section uh, up next i'm gonna do the washington capitals this is a tough one i really like this one but i don't know how much i like it i think i'm gonna put it in future retro uh it's a really nice jersey i love that logo i like it better than their current logo the red looks really nice with it and the blue line across it looks good i just don't think it uh belongs in future third uh they already wear red at home so i hope they Wear it sometimes, but not make it their third. I don't believe it's that good, but I am a fan of that jersey. Up next, I'm going to do the Winnipeg Jets. This is just disappointing for me. I'm going to put in the garbage bin. I'm not a fan of the colors. It's the same logo, different colors. Nothing new and exciting about it. I really like the Jets' uh, light blue alternates that they wore last year. Um, and they could have done something along with the old Jets, like the original Jets' colors and logo i think that would have been really cool um unfortunately they didn't and this is what they've given us and i'm just not a fan of this one i i'm not going to be buying it and for me that goes straight into the garbage bin up next i'm going to do the tampa bay lightning this one i don't know uh i think i'm going to put in reverse retro hit it is closer to buy on discount than future rescue uh, future retro for me um the reason for that is it's just it's just the older one, white, it's nice. Is it something I wanna see him wear all the time? Not particularly, um, but is it a decent jersey that I don't mind seeing every once in a while? Yeah, so I think it just fits there. It's on the upper end of the scale. It's all right, it's not fantastic. No hate for that jersey though, no hate. Up next, I'm gonna do the Montreal Canadiens. For me, that is gonna be a future third. Um, Montreal doesn't do many jerseys and they're never crazy with their jersey uh, alternates just because of how classic their home jersey is i like this i like seeing some change and they actually did something different for once and i i think it's really cool i like the blue and red it still has that classic look to it but it's still different so it still has that montreal canadians feel still looks good so for me that's a future third one for sure 
I do really like that one, and I will probably be buying that one in the future. Up next, let's do the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think this is going to go... Yeah, I'm going to put that in reverse retro hit. Um, the more I look at this one, I can't tell if I despise it or love it. So I think just pretty close to the middle for me is bang on. I do like the bottom half with the blue and white. I'm not sure how I like the, um, the shoulders and the arms here. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. Um, so I'm just going to have to put it there. And we'll see once it's on ice. Maybe it goes up or down the list. So keep an eye out for that. All right, next here, I'm going to do the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm going to put this in the clearance dust collector, and I'm going to explain why. I like the jersey. For me, this jersey could easily be in reverse retro hit. Um, but when they uploaded it, they were trying to hide the logo. And it screams to me like they're not proud of their work and they don't want to cause any controversy. I understand there is controversy uh, around around the logo, uh, which I'm not going to get into. But it, when, it, when you're trying to hide something, it doesn't scream that you're proud of your work. And if you're not proud of your work and you want me to buy it, I don't really know if I will. I love the Chicago jersey. For me, if it was just the home one, it'd be top tier. Uh, but unfortunately, with them trying to hide it, not proud of it, I do have to put it lower down. Just because I'm not going to buy something they're not proud of. Uh, so up next, I'm going to do the Vancouver Canucks. I'm going to put it in future retro. Uh, it will be closer to reverse retro hit rather than future third. Um, I do like the V's on the arm for Vancouver. I think that was pretty creative. It's an all right jersey. Um, I do like the green. I believe that Vancouver green is a very nice looking shade of green. But it doesn't scream future third or future primary for me. I think the Canucks jerseys that they usually put there are a bit better than this one. But definitely a retro one to go back to every once in a while. Um, I do wish they wore the dark blue ones with the Orca, the red, um, but they didn't. I know blue and green's their colors, so they got to stick with it, but I'm happy. I'm No complaints about that one. Uh, up next, I'm going to do the Edmonton Oilers, and I'm going to put that in the clearance dust collector section. Uh, the reason for me, I know what they're going for with the look here. I know it's, the, it's just flipped up a little bit, but... It's not enough. Um, it's hard to for me. It's hard to do stuff with the Edmonton logo. Um, kind of, I know they've won a lot, and it's kind of been used correctly. But I just feel like it's harder to make new jerseys with that logo. I really wish they did the comic book oil drop. That would have been amazing. Unfortunately, they didn't. And it's just not that exciting for me. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy that. Uh, if it if it was cheap, I might. But yeah, sorry, Edmonton fans. Uh, up next, I'm going to do the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, for me, this goes in the garbage bin. I know Toronto Nation's going to not be very happy about that one. Um, I believe Toronto has one of the most beautiful jerseys in the league. They have had great alternates in the past. The St. Pat's one is fantastic. Um, but for me, this it just doesn't look good. Um, I don't like the white shoulders. I think the logo looks a bit blocky. I just think they could have been more creative and done something better with that so for me that one is going in the garbage bin uh, it just doesn't compete with their normal primaries all right so the final three one of these is going into the y category but we'll see who that is when we get there most of you probably already know up next i'm gonna do the florida panthers one this one i've been having a tough time about i can't tell if i want to put it in future third sometimes retro sometimes primary but i'm gonna stick it in the middle uh, future third I really like the blue on it I think it's a fantastic blue it's nice to see that old panther logo back again it's a great logo and the colors on the arms and underneath look good so the more I look at I couldn't tell where I wanted it in of these three here but I'm happy to put it in the middle uh, I believe it will be a future third it looks great and I cannot wait to see that one out on the ice so we're down to the last two so take a deep breath Philly Nation, it's not you. Detroit will be going into the Y category. Uh, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, first, I'll do the Flyers here. I'm going to move this to buy on discount. It is closer to the clearance dust collector section. I don't think it's that fantastic. I do own a Philly jersey, and I am a huge fan of it. But this one, I don't think it's that great looking. I think the arms look a bit funky. 
with the orange there and then the black cuts off so not a fan of that um but i couldn't see putting it too much lower than that clearance dust collector might have been a bit harsh on my part so i think it's fine and buy on discount um, but back to the y category with detroit can't have anything in detroit i just want to know why um it it looks like they put no effort into the jersey it doesn't look good i know it'd be hard to do something retro with detroit's jerseys and colors because it's been pretty similar the whole time but just a little bit of gray on the arms and underneath the, at the bottom of the jersey then white with red doesn't do it for me um again they could have been more creative with it i just think it looks like a bad jersey which is sad because the detroit logo is a great logo um i if they came out with something more creative uh and tried something even if it didn't look good i would have had it higher up the effort just screams no and it doesn't look good i think without a doubt that is the worst jersey i've ever seen uh just by effort <laughs> like and it's not like a bad looking jersey it's just they made no effort behind it like that's it that's all you can do in detroit disappointing to say not the least well that is my list uh please feel free to comment what you agree with and disagree with i'm sure i'll be reading lots of comments on um, why this should be down here and this should be there uh, but right now I'm just gonna mix it up just so if people skip to the end of the video um, they think I've gone crazy so I'm just gonna switch everything around quickly so I'll put that down there Islanders up there excellent so uh, this will just be to prank everyone else so yeah, thanks for watching my uh, tier list. As you can see, Detroit is in the top there. Fantastic jersey. The Islanders one, amazing. So creative. Winnipeg one, hats off to them. They really did the best one. Uh, please watch out for a new video coming out tomorrow where Austin and I will be sitting down comparing the choices we made and trying to come to a consensus on where they should be on the list. Uh,